This is the 2021 Math Kangaroo Levels 3-4 Problem Number 23. Elena wants to write the numbers from 1 to 9 in the squares shown. The arrows always point from a smaller number to a larger one. She has already written 5 and 7. Which number should she write in the box with the question mark? A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, D, 6, or E, 8. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, so you can pause the video now and try it on your own and then press play when you want to go through the solution together. So here's where we'll be doing the solution. To start, I've written down the numbers one through nine, which the problem says she will place in the squares show. She's already placed the five and the seven, as you can see in the picture, so we can cross those out because we've already used them. And we know that the arrows always point from a smaller number to a larger one. So let's take a look at this box above the seven. Seven is a pretty big number out of our list. And if we have an arrow pointing from seven to another box, the number in the other box must be greater than seven. And out of our list, we can see that only eight or nine are greater than seven. So in that box above the seven, we can either place an eight or a nine. And now let's keep going. We can see that there's an arrow pointing from that box toward another one. And the number in this box must be greater than the number in the box before it. So that means that this number must be 9. And that tells us that the box above the 7 must have 8 in it. So now we've placed 8 and 9. Let's think about placing 1, the smallest number on our list. Well, because it's the smallest number, we know that it cannot have any arrows pointing toward it, only arrows pointing away from it. And as we can see, this is the only box for which that is true, so one must be there. Now we have two, three, four, and six left to place. Let's take a look at the box next to the five. We have an arrow pointing toward 5, and 5 is the number greater than the one in this box. So what number can be in that box? Well, we can have either 2, 3, or 4. However, we also see that this box has an arrow pointing toward it coming down from the top and another arrow point toward it coming from the side. That means that this number is greater than two other numbers that we have not placed yet. And out of two, three, and four, we know that four must go here in order to have two and three be the numbers smaller than it than have not been placed yet. So in this box we either have 2 or 3, and in this box we either have 2 or 3. We don't know, and for our problem we don't really need to know where the 2 is or where the 3 is, because the problem just asks us for what number she should write in the box with the question mark. That is this box right here. So, so far, we know the 2, 3, and 4 are all accounted for, so the number she must place in the box with the question mark is 6, and that is answer choice D. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.